When men look upon different non-Mahram women at work and in a society whose appearance and behavior are flirtatious and not based on modesty, part of their desire for their own wives will be satiated. It's like when you're hungry, but instead of having food or the main dish, you start eating junk food. So you have temporarily gotten full, but your body has not received the necessary vitamins and minerals. Look at the other side of the coin. Women like to show off their beauty to others. They like to feel beautiful and desired and make others see their physical attraction and beauty. According to a study by two Australian psychologists, Abbott and Barber, the female sex places more emphasis on aesthetic values and less emphasis on functional values of their bodies when compared to the other sex, meaning the men. The Quran also points to this fact by stating that girls are brought up in ornaments in Surah Zukhruf, verse number 18. The need to self-expression will have to be met in the family and through the intimate relationship of a husband and wife. However, when hijab is not observed in society, this need is partially fulfilled through strange men. So when the woman goes home, she doesn't feel this need anymore. Don't forget that if a woman's presence outside of the home is not based on piety and modesty, and with it she causes harm to other men's relationship with their own wives, she's to be held responsible in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and she's partly to be blamed. Question. A woman might say, well, it's not my fault if a man does not get enough attention at home and he has to come settle for junk food outside of the home. Answer. The wife of a man who sees partly naked women in the society doesn't even get the chance to fulfill her husband's emotional and sexual needs because he doesn't even come to her as he sees other more beautiful women outside and flirts with them. Plus, women outside act so sweet with these men because their relationship with them is short-term and very shallow. But the wife at home has many needs and expectations that are sometimes not met. So you cannot really say that the wife is to be blamed because she's not doing a good job at taking care of her husband's needs. What does the Quran say in this regard? The Noble Quran beautifully illustrates the picture and sets the boundaries for men and women in chapter Nur. It first instructs the men to practice care regarding their eyesight and then guard their chastity and then warns women in this regard. Just as we do not eat everything and care about the calories of our food intake, the same has to be preserved regarding the food of our soul. Based on the instructions of this noble verse, such care and lifestyle are more suitable for one's self-purification self and progress. Then it adds that God knows about the slightest thing you do, so be careful. When you look at verse number 30 and 31 of chapter Nur, you realize that two commandments are shared between men and women. However, there is a special order just for women. They're instructed not to display their charms beyond what is acceptably visible. 